<laughs> to any Megan, especially people who spell their name M3GAN. <laughs> I'm so sorry for what we're about to cause. We need you. And I was like, oh God, okay. What am I? <laughs> yeah. What do you need another like evil white girl? And he was like, <laughs> I'm kind of. Like, Megan the movie has been out for a few days now, and fans are really liking this concept of this film of a robot babysitter, so to speak. And if you haven't heard, the film revolves around a lifelike doll that's programmed to be a child's greatest companion and a parent's greatest ally. We have it down to kind of a science. On Girls, yeah. by the time we finished, I'd be like, okay, I got the um, episodes for this season. There will be six sex scenes. They're gonna be in these episodes. It'll break down. <laughs> exactly. Designed by Gemma, a brilliant roboticist, Megan can listen, watch, and learn as it plays the role of a friend and teacher, playmate, and protector. Um, the dance, the dance. And, Interesting. Uh, yeah. You think it's time to dip back into the other, <laughs> yeah, right? into the other water? Like between cut and ac the next action, either while we were doing a scene together or even just during a break when she was not working, um, very eerie. When Gemma becomes the unexpected caretaker of her eight-year-old niece, she decides to give the girl a Megan prototype, a decision that leads to unimaginable consequences. Well, shake it up, baby, now. Oh, did it end with baby cow? <laughs> She's like a fiercely protective best friend. You know those people who are like, if he does something to you, I will kill him? Mm -hmm. She means it. Today we wanted to take a look back at some bloopers of this film and funny moments from interviews, press tours, and wherever they are. I'm talking to my okay. BFF. Quietly, Hi, Ashley. the next one with lens. It's effectively the same. But before we get into it, some trivia for you. What two actresses played a part in making the Megan doll come to life? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. I thought we were having a conversation. Ooh, this is so creepy. <laughs> I was like, she is freaky. Well, you kind of know. Like, you see her face, you see the poster, you're like, this is not a comedy. <laughs> First, that viral dance number that most people can recognize wasn't even in the script to begin with. No spoilers in terms of what happens, but this is what the screenplay writer Akila Cooper had to say about it during a December interview with Insider. So one of the versions of her, we achieved her in a bunch of different ways. One of them was animatronic, and because she blinks, her eyes get stuck sometimes, so they have to like put. One, I listen, it's not lead. who says my job is easy. No! You know what happens to bad boys that don't mind their manners? They grow up to be bad men. Are you listening to me, Brandon? There are such absurd moments that Jared added, which gives it that fun camp feel. Cooper said in the film's production notes. I didn't write Megan dancing, I wrote her on a killing spree. When I saw it, I thought, this is so weird, but it works. That makes the death all the more uncomfortable. Someone's face will you watch the show? And I was like, <laughs> yes. It's so that true. That is the most perfect face I have ever seen. <laughs> yeah, by far, I'm happy to say, by far uh, the most unique uh, co-star experience I've ever had. We also can't forget about the time during the premiere when some extras came along wearing the Megan costume and just roaming around. Mine would be a, yeah. um, a masseuse. <laughs> that sounds kind of my, my body. <laughs> <laughs> And we have seen little snippets online of the trailer and other clips of Megan the doll starting to go out of control and getting angry and even though in the scenes of it happening it can be pretty scary but when you look behind the camera of it being performed it can kind of be a little funny. Our conversation in one way or another will end up talking about a killer doll movie and, uh, and really the, uh, yeah, the, the seed of uh, Megan really did come from that conversation and we thought wouldn't it be great to make a movie where it's like it's Annabelle meets the Terminator. The creators of the film Jason Bloom and Jason Wan talked a little bit about the film and the concept of the doll in the first interactions of the prototype and the reaction to it was pretty funny. They did this incredible animatronic head of, of I don't want to talk too much about it but this animatronic head of Megan you know like the way she moved her eyes the skin texture it was pretty incredible. For this movie what was scary was like 
backstage. Like Megan just in repose was terrible. Really? Yes. <laughs> they even go on to further explain the humor within this film and finding the balance between being scared but also giving the audience a chance to laugh and at times almost forget that they're watching a horror film. And then when the scare comes, it's much more effective because you're not ready for it. And then you laugh after the scare because everybody yeah. else in the theater just got scared. Relax. And then you then relax again. Yeah. You flush the toilet. Yeah. Rather than a parent That's having to say, nice. flush the toilet. Something I didn't times. know that little kids just do love to go to the bathroom, hate to deal with the consequences. We also wanted to give a shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, we asked a challenging Marvel related trivia question over on our community tab. If you answer it correctly, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. It's just surreal <laughs> to see like a bunch of Megan's walk up. I was like, what have I done? <laughs> what has this character done? No, this is amazing. Are you kidding? It's the best. That's sort of the best Terrifying. thing that's ever happened. It ha he dressed up as her for Halloween and I was so annoyed that I missed it. And I'm so glad he reprised it because I get to appreciate it in person and boy is it something to behold. Like I'm just taking it in. During an interview with The Kelly Clarkson Show, she has put some insight into this film and what other horror films she has been in, including Get Out, but says there's laughing, cheering, and clapping. It's one of those communal theater experiences. Allison Williams teases her new horror film, Megan, as surprisingly funny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so imagine that you had an AI who could just stand on the outside of the bathroom and be like, did you flush? And then they go back and flush. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Did you roll up your sleeves? Did you dry your hands? All of that stuff. But this so, goes poorly. Yeah, weirdly enough. Who could have guessed? It doesn't, go, it doesn't go super well, no. Being one of the stars of this show, she stopped by The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon and spilled on her first reaction to seeing the Megan doll for the first time. The first time I actually met the doll, she was doing a camera test. She was just standing there like this and people were like touching up her hair and stuff like that. And I just thought, this is gonna be the scariest experience of my life. What you just did was yeah, scary. Just, yeah, I mean, that Reviews have come in for this film and it seems like a lot of people are enjoying it. With over a 90% score from critics and almost 80% from audience members, many people find this film surprisingly funny at times and Allison seems to be right. <laughs> Ruffler too. What did you say? <laughs> a bull. Uh, Lamau. A raffle. No, I just, I've never heard it said like that. Like, oh, it's LOL. Why are you being so weird? It is known that the doll is the antagonist, the one who creates the conflict in the story. But you end up rooting for her in the beginning when you're not expecting to. One critic saying, it's the dark humor that makes this film so enjoyable. About me. Right? Right? A, B, C, D, E. I know this one! A, B, C, D, E, F, G? A, B, C, D, E, F, U! Thank you very much. Many people were very mesmerized by the movements and wondered just how they made this robot character so lifelike. And they did so by using a real person who was, of course, played by Amy Donald, while also using a different actress's voice. So then we would finish a scene on her coverage and then everyone would walk away, stretch, especially the puppeteer, he needed to like stretch his legs. And she would just be like frozen looking at me like five inches from my face. And I'd just be looking into her eyes and I, I kept thinking like, <laughs> she's gonna ask for like a cigarette break. <laughs> Producer James Wan and Jason Blum explains in detail how we as people depend on technology so much given that it's always available to us all around us and how it would be depending on it as a replacement to humans themselves. <laughs> yeah, those are side projects. Side yeah, projects. Yeah. Yeah. Those are small but, side but side I, I, I detour every now and <laughs> yeah. then, but I, my heart yeah. is always in horror. I'll come back to horror. And that's what we appreciate, That's what Jason man. wants. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want me to do any yeah. of those side projects. Stop meddling around with that Aquaman. <laughs> that's right, those, those silly hobbies. As far as the answer to our trivia question, Amy Donald was the child actor who wore a mask and acted as the doll, while Jenna Davis portrayed the voice of the doll. And it's very interesting when things like this happen when two actresses or actors have to be involved to make the vision of one person come to life on the big screen. Says to the ring, like, I still, to, um, uh, What's it called? Oh my God, I see dead people. Oh, Sixth Sense. Thank you. I still see like <laughs> under my bed, I'm like, is Misha Barton under my bed? <laughs> Having a rating of PG-13, it's safe to say that this film has a pretty high chance that it will be breaking some records in the box office given the people in and around the film. Some people already trying to figure out how to get their hands on the life-size version of the Megan doll. Someone putting a lubricant on her eyeball and I'm like, she. I know she's not real. I know she's not real. But she is talking and blinking, and her face is moving. <laughs> yeah. 
And you're putting something on her eyeball and it just looks weird. So what do you guys think about all these moments? Have you seen this film yet? And do you think this outfit that the Megan character wears will be popping up in stores as Halloween costumes? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. I can't find baby. No. I can't even Google. I don't even know what to Google to find like what it just was. Just Google so. baby. What are you doing? Right, yeah, just baby, you know. There Google, it is. Google, okay, baby doll. Yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. I don't envy you.